In every patient consult, always establish rapport, meet the patient, introduce yourself, and offer a welcoming and comfortable setting of consultation. Always confirm the patient details, explain the examination, and gain consent. A 27-year-old patient, G2P1-1001, 32 weeks pregnant, came in at the clinic for her scheduled prenatal checkup. At bedside, always establish a bedside manner and make sure that the patient is comfortable. You need to explain the procedure that you will be touching the abdomen and using some instruments. Before you ask her to lie down, ask her first to empty the bladder and drape the patient. Ask permission that you will be touching her abdomen or examining the abdomen and gain consent. A female nurse or a female secretary is a mask inside the examination room when you are a male doctor. To start, undrape the patient and expose the abdomen. When doing the inspection, assess for the size, shape, color, contour, symmetry, scars, distended veins, striae, linea nigra, or any visible organomegaly. The fundic height is measured using a tape measure in an enlarged uterus from the symphysis fubis to the fundus. You have to empty the bladder prior to the measurement. During auscultation, check for the bowel sounds and the fetal heart rate. To assess the fetal heart rate, you need to aim the stethoscope bell between the fetal shoulders on the fetal back and measure it for 1 minute. It is important to perform the Leopold's maneuver to know the orientation of the fetus. In Leopold's maneuver 1 or the fundal grip, it assesses the uterine fundus, identifies the fetal lie, and determines which pole occupies the fundus, either cephalic or podalic. Leopold's maneuver 2 or the umbilical grip determines the fetal orientation. Pumps are placed on either side of the maternal abdomen and then a gentle and deep pressure is applied. Noting whether the back is directed anteriorly, transversely, or posteriorly, fetal orientation can be determined using this maneuver. Lupus maneuver 3 or the Paulix grip aids confirmation of fetal presentation from the Lupus maneuver 1. The thumb and the fingers of one hand grasp the lower portion of the maternal abdomen just above the symphysis pubis. Leopold's maneuver 4 or the pelvic grip determines the degree of descent. The examiner faces the mother's feet and the fingertips of both hands are positioned on either side of the presenting part. They exert inward pressure and then slide caudal along the axis of the pelvic inlet. After the examination, recover the drape and explain the findings to the patient and or to the relatives. For the abdominal findings, the abdomen is globular, no striae, no scars with prominent linea nigra, fundic height at 31 cm, fetal heart tone of 134 beats per minute at the left lower quadrant of the mother. For the lupus maneuver, breech, fetal back on the left side of the mother, cephalic and unengaged. Always thank the patient at the end of the examination.